Don't you think I know what you come here looking for? I'm gonna see your insides before this night's through. Just make sure you keep that saw nice and clean. Where if you die right quick? Trust me, big boy's gonna be wearing your face soon enough. After I'm done with you, that is. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? So I know it's been a minute, but we're finally back. Welcome to part four of the search for Maria. It's time to continue our investigation. So in today's video, there's a lot I want to discuss because there's been some major info released since part three. And I apologize for the wait, but thank you all so, so much for all the support on this series. As always, in these videos, I tend to take the facts that we know from the Texas Chainsaw Games social media accounts and community hub, things in game, as well as adding my own speculation to all of it. With that being said, please take everything with a grain of salt as there's a lot of thoughts and theories included in here. I try not to discuss leaks here nor promote them in any way, so please don't flood the comments with anything that hasn't officially been revealed. Let's keep this discussion on theories and speculation. So let's begin to break this down as there's a lot of possible theories I want to cover. So if you weren't aware, when our newest victim, Virginia, was released, there was some pretty big news revealed in her character description. So let's go over that. So it says, Haunted by the disappearance of her son years ago, Virginia left her nursing career behind and moved to New Texas, refusing to accept that her son is really gone. She spends every waking hour obsessing, scouring remote areas, talking to anyone who could potentially shed light on why Jesse suddenly vanished. One day after noticing unusual behavior near a remote farmhouse, Virginia took it upon herself to investigate the property. But instead of finding Jesse, what she discovered was Maria, beaten and tortured, barely clinging to life. As the pair attempted to escape, they were immediately surrounded and captured. Now, Virginia finds herself trapped in a different kind of nightmare. Yep, you read that right. Maria Flores is or at least was alive and has had an interaction with Virginia at some point. Many of us thought she was dead, at least according to the Community Hub post. In part two, I'd mentioned how I didn't think she'd quite died to Leatherface's saw, and I guess I was right, sort of. I thought she had died to Johnny and that was the end of it, but I guess there's definitely more to the story. So Maria survived the initial events in Petals, but what happened from that point? One of the two possible ways of her surviving come to mind. A, she managed to escape the family house and ran until she reached the farmhouse where she was later found. Or B, she didn't escape but was tortured then relocated there. Then, you know, maybe, maybe the family left her there and they came back to check on her, found Virginia there and captured both of them. But before we dive into that, I wanted to take a quick look a little bit of a closer look at the petals ending again. Y'all know I've had my detective hat on and treat this like a true crime case. And I've been studying all the material we have so far, which is not a lot. So, you know, sometimes we're grasping for straws here, but I wanted to point a couple things out along with some speculation. I've always personally thought that the way Leatherface's saw is positioned in the ending scene when appearing to attack Maria looked a bit odd, especially just like the way it's angled. But it's kind of hard to make any speculation on it as this was just a preview game and everything might not have been completely polished and this really just served as more of a way to tell the base of the story. So it's kind of hard to like go on a full analysis of this one shot here. But I'm just saying it, it does look kind of odd because the way that she is looking up and the way that the saw is angled, it just it doesn't really line up. My other speculation with the chainsaw incident actually has to do with Johnny and or Sissy. We know Johnny has a thing for strangulation, so maybe when Leatherface went to attack, 
he began choking her because he was the one that did drag her in. So he would be the one, you know, grasping her. But also, this is a bit of a further reach here, but when Johnny barks at Sissy about standing around as if she's supposed to be doing something, here's a potential theory. As some of you may know, Sissy has a deadly one-shot mechanic if a victim happens to be in close proximity to a freezer she's hiding in. It's a very, very hard thing to get, but it is in the game. So what if Leatherface's chainsaw did actually stall and the gurgling is actually from either Johnny choking her or Sissy reaching over to slit her throat? Johnny's all gurgle, no guts line would still make sense here. And as I've said before regarding the lines, sure, they could just be common terms, but in a game where the lore has this much depth, I believe there are really no coincidences. This is a bit of a stretch, but hey, we've got to take all possibilities into consideration here. Maybe none of that did happen, but all we know 100% is that Maria somehow managed to survive it. So how does she manage to end up at the farmhouse where Virginia found her? If we consider that she escaped the family house, it makes sense for her to run until she couldn't, especially from what Virginia's description said about her being found beaten up and tortured. Maybe she actually managed to get away and made a run for it to the last place she photographed. As we covered in part three, it says that was a clue to finding out what happened to her. So maybe she ran there. So if this happened, how did she escape? Well, I went looking around the family house for any potential clues that indicated a struggle. And when I rewatched the petals ending for the millionth time, I noticed something. This could be nothing, but notice how most of the windows are boarded up or covered with newspaper. When Maria's running up to the family house after she's attacked by Johnny, I noticed that there's a visible light behind one of the windows which that would be the lamp that sits in the corner of the room in the living room. Maybe this is just a visual error, but what if maybe she jumped out onto the porch? And with Cook's truck parked there, it can be assumed that he was probably home at the time as well. I doubt the family would let her go, so she would have definitely put up a fight. But now in the actual Texas Chainsaw Massacre game, the window is completely covered with no visual light even at night. Again, this could just be something that wasn't completely polished, but who knows. Otherwise, her being taken there to the farmhouse after being tortured by the family or left for dead, we do know that Maria seemed different than the rest of Johnny. So who knows? Maybe he decided not to kill her as a way to regain that control Nancy took from him forcing him into living this life of brutality. Maybe he claimed to kill her and then bluffed about the entire thing, hoping that they would believe him until Virginia discovered her and then they had no choice. I'm not saying he wouldn't kill because obviously he's willing to kill the victims in the game, but maybe she managed to persuade him and talk him out of it with the rest of the family thinking she was actually dead. Otherwise, all of the lines that pertain to her, especially Cook's, just wouldn't make sense if the family knew she was alive. And that's where the water starts to get a bit murky. With Johnny's numerous voice lines that insinuate her being dead, was there a possibility that this was the case? And since then, things got retconned or changed. Now there's the possibility that since the post on the community hub, things have gotten changed, but there's no confirmation that there wasn't some sort of twist either. So for the sake of this investigation, we're mostly taking what's been confirmed and revealed and forming theories around that, although her fate could have been altered since then. We know that the lore and the story runs quite deep in this game, so it is possible that all of this was meant to happen this way. So what happened next? Maria either escapes the events of Petals or is taken there and ends up at this farmhouse. Is this the farmhouse that Maria took a photo of? Regardless of how Maria got there, she's hurt badly and barely alive when Virginia finds her. We know Virginia was a nurse, so she more than likely tried to help patch up any major wounds and maybe even threw her arm around her to try to get her to her car or however she got to that area. So speaking of, where is this farmhouse and how far is it from the family house? 
There's a few buildings outside of the maps on Family House and Slaughterhouse, but from the angles, it's kind of hard to tell if these could be it, if one of them could be, or if these are just regular buildings. Who knows, it could very well be a building on a future map that we haven't received yet. But I keep getting hung up on what the photo description said in the unlockable about finding this building would be a clue to finding her. So let's go from there. What happened after Virginia found Maria? Virginia's description says the two were caught, but not by who? Was it Johnny? Leatherface? Maybe even the newest family member coming, Hands? I'm very curious to know what part Hands plays into the story, and perhaps we'll talk more about that in a future part once we have more info, because when Nancy came out, we were able to get a glimpse at not only more of the family's lore, but evidence that Nancy wasn't too fond of Johnny's obsession with Maria. Regardless of who caught and captured them, another question comes to mind. Why were Virginia and Maria separated? We know that the case for Danny and the other five victims was that Danny showed up at Nancy's house and encountered the Slaughter family first, so it makes sense. But if Maria and Jenny were caught at the same time, then why aren't they together? What happened to her? And this is one of the biggest questions that the entire investigation has been about. Is she still alive now? I think there's a few possible answers to this. As I've said before, a lot of the voice lines coming from Johnny and Cook just don't make sense if she is. So did they tie Virginia up for the time being, but finish Maria off due to how much of a potential threat she is now if she got away because of what she had seen? Or did they just lock the two up separately? Where is she now? So this then begins to turn into the question, if she is still alive, does that mean she'll eventually be a playable character? Most of us thought she was dead either at or after the events of Petals, but clearly not. So if she is still alive, I certainly think it is possible. If she's not, then what? I still think there has to be some sort of resolution to the story either way. Either the victims find her and she becomes a part of escaping this twisted nightmare, or they find her dead and conclude that she didn't survive in the end. Hell, maybe she's been held captive in wherever Nancy's secret room is. I think it'd be interesting to see how her dynamic being in game would turn out and, you know, seeing her reunite with her loved ones. But at the same time, I think the reality of her really being dead helps pull the fear in of the story and of the family even more. So honestly, I'd be fine with either. You know, I'd love to get another character. I'd love to actually see her in game. But at the same time, I think, you know, I, I think it would be sort of a good concluding end if she wasn't. All in all, I hope that someday we'll discover the truth, whatever her fate turned out to be. And this isn't conclusive of any potential additions to the game or anything, everything is still up in the air right now. Again, this is purely speculation based on what we know at this time. Just knowing that she still is or at least was alive adds this extra layer of, you know, well, is she coming to the game then? You know, where is she? In terms of gameplay, I did want to point out something odd that I've noticed. With Virginia's addition to the game, based on her own voice lines, it's clear she doesn't know any of our victims. She's, you know, very scared and very apprehensive of them. I'm not sure who you are, but please, can you help me? You, you look like you're trying to find someone too. Oh, who are you? However, in some of the other victims' voice lines towards her, it definitely seems like they know who she is, which just doesn't make sense. You're alive. Oh, I'm so relieved to see you. I, I think we can use that. You're alive. We can survive this. This is my work on that door boy. Everybody. Could it be possible that some of these lines were added unintentionally and actually meant for Maria? Or they're just basic voice lines? 
I don't know. It just seems like something is going on because it just doesn't add up. So based on what we know right now, I have a few possibilities in mind. Now, again, these are just my own personal takes on things of what I think could happen. None of this has been confirmed or denied at this point. So my top possibilities are A, Maria survived, was recaptured, and is alive, just not introduced to the game at this point. B, she was recaptured and killed and the victims will find her dead, perhaps on a new map or even something in museum mode. Or C, she's dead, but she can come back to life. Now, this kind of goes outside of the realm of realism, but again, when we're talking about these things, we have a grandpa with sonar ability who can spot people. We have Cook who can, you know, listen and spot people. We have Nancy who can see through the eyes of other people. So when it comes to something like this, I think anything is kind of possible. But if this were the case, I would see it sort of as a situation where once a teammate dies, you have to complete some sort of mini game or objective to summon her and then someone who had died can take over her role and basically, you know, like revive them, bring them back into the game. So in the Friday the 13th game, this was the case where if someone died, you could bring one person back as Tommy Jarvis, a playable character, but an objective had to be completed prior to this. This would definitely be interesting and add a completely new dynamic and challenge to the gameplay for both family and victim. I personally would love that, but we just don't have enough info at this time and anything's possible at this point. One thing's for sure, I hope we eventually get some sort of conclusion to the story as to what actually happened to Maria Flores. Again, thank you guys so much for all the love and support you've given on this series. I know it took way longer to get up than I initially anticipated, and I definitely plan on having future episodes and other discussion and lore-related videos up soon. So let me know in the comments below, where do you think Maria is, and what do you think happened after her encounter with Virginia? If you've enjoyed these type of videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more Texas and asymmetrical horror content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.